welcome back to Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Today we are making some summer corn chowder. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Be sure and like and share my videos. In my bowl, I have got some corn that I've already uh, shucked, but I was gonna show you a neat trick. If you, you put a bowl down into another bowl, you can just sit here. This is some fresh corn. Right now, corn is on sale at the local grocery store. Um, I don't grow corn myself here at the apartment. I've got a lot of other stuff that I've been growing, but corn is not one of them. But right now, it's really cheap at the grocery store, so I'll pick some up today. And this is a really neat trick I learned off the Food Network a long time ago. And I thought, you know, I thought I would show y'all how to do this so you don't have flying corn everywhere. So I have already done eight ears of corn. It sure does save your corn from just flying everywhere. This is a really easy recipe. I just love a good corn chowder. Now my husband wants me to make clam chowder. I'm not a big fan of clam. But I do like a good potato soup or corn chowder. So, all right, and that's all there is to it. No fuss, no mess. All right. And then you just pull your bowl out from just like that. All right, I'm gonna bring y'all over to the stove over here and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook up this beautiful summer corn chowder. All right, be right back. I've got a stock pot here that I'm heating up and in my stock pot, I am going to heat up about a half a pound of bacon. We're gonna crisp it up that I have just cut up in little pieces, okay? We're gonna get that to cooking. I'm gonna pull off a little bit of this oil because you don't need all this. Then to my pan, I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of butter. Then I've got some onions and bell pepper. I'm just going to let that start getting a little translucent. And we'll start adding my seasoning. Salt. Pepper. A little Cajun seasoning. A little thyme. Some garlic. I'm 
you're going to add your corn. about three cups, two and a half cups maybe, of half and a half. And I'm turning it down to medium low. And then I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of flour. Then I'm going to I'm going to take some of my liquid right here and add my flour to it. Get a spoon over here. Mix that up, kind of dissolve your flour. Okay. Then I'm going to add about a cup of water. And you could add chicken broth here. I just was out of broth. I thought I had some, but I don't. A cup of water. And then I'm adding Monterey Jack and some cheddar cheese. bacon back in. Okay, so I'm going to eat about And then we'll let this simmer. And then I'm going to bring y'all back when this is done and we're going to try, try it. I'm gonna put a lid on this and then I'll bring you back here in just a little bit. Okay guys, here you go, some amazing corn chowder. This stuff tastes amazing. Uh, be sure and like, share, and subscribe. Um, and try this for yourself. It was super easy to make and my family is gonna love this stuff. So, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.